Hey everybody, in this video, we're gonna be looking at three different local LLM options. This is a way to run something like ChatGPT, but just on your local computer instead of using the internet and having to rely on a company like OpenAI or Google or Meta. So this is LM Studio. As the website says, it allows you to discover, download and run local LLMs. It requires an Apple Silicon Mac or a PC with a newer processor. NVIDIA and AMD GPUs are supported and 16 gigabytes of RAM are recommended to run these things. It's built on top of Llama CPP. And without further ado, let's give it a download. So here's the application running on my Mac. The first thing you'll need to do is download a model and you can use the search interface to find one or you can use any of the recommended ones in the directory. It supports any GGUF model file on Hugging Face. So I'm gonna download Mistral. You can choose from different levels of quantization, which means essentially level of compression of the model and translates to the quality of responses. So I'll just choose the 4X quantization model, which is four gigs versus the 6X, which is six gigs. And once that's finished, we can interact with it. Now, it comes with different presets, which are instructions and configurations for the model to accomplish different tasks. So here I am choosing my model from the downloads and it's loading that four gigabyte file. Once that's done, I can interact with it just like I would chat GPT, only I don't need to be online. I'm doing it all from my local computer. So let's just type a question here. I want to make sure I'm using an open source model. So I want to see if Mistral is open source. It takes a second to generate the response. And indeed it is open source under the MIT license. Now on the right hand side, you have all these configuration options. You can write a system prompt. You can load presets from other models and still use them with your chosen model, but it adds different configurations. So even though we're using Mistral, let's load the code llama config and we'll accept that new system prompt. So now let's ask it a coding question. I've been trying to install auto GPT and not having much luck. So let's see what it gives me here. So far, the responses are looking just like they do in ChatGPT. I get code blocks. I can copy that code. I get some tips on things I need to do, like insert my API key. And I can even export a screenshot of our chat transcript. Now I just want to test its memory here. So I'm going to ask it the first thing I asked it was. Notice you can specify your context length on the right there. It's currently set at 2048 tokens. And it correctly responds with my first question. So easy way to play around with different models, check their responses against each other, see what works best for you. Now, as opposed to LLM Studio, Mozilla's Llama file is a stripped down and open source modification of Llama CPP that allows you to accomplish the same thing. Run GGUF hugging face weights files from a single file or use their server for a graphical user interface. You can get Llama file from this GitHub repo from Mozilla. In the Mozilla repo, they give you some Llama files that you can download and run. For example, Mistral 7B Instruct. Same as we ran in LLM Studio. So if I were to download the command line binary here, I've got that file here. Let's change into that directory. And we'll just run that llama file. We're gonna pass it this prompt dash P parameter. And we'll ask it a question. What is Mozilla best known for? Spinning up the model again. Asking the prompt, what is Mozilla best known for? Mozilla is best known for creating and maintaining the Firefox web browser. So for you code vampires that cringe at the sight of a graphical user interface and love the terminal, this is an ideal way to run local LLMs very lean. However, if you want a graphical user interface, they offer that option as well via the server. And you do that by clicking on the server binary link, which takes you to the Llama file hosted on Hugging Face. If you haven't used Hugging Face, it's sort of like the GitHub for AI models. 
So in this case, I'm looking at the Mistral 7B model weights. And if I were to run the Llama file server against this file here, it will use Mistral as the large language model for that interface that we just saw. So let's see what that looks like. I'm going to scroll down here. Let's go down to their recommended model here. And we'll click download. And I'll see you in a bit. It's very large. So the next thing we'll do is come back to this Mozilla GitHub repo for Llama file. And we'll download the latest release. That's over here on these releases. We've got Llama file 2.1. We'll grab the zip and download that. Once I have that, it's going to unzip it. So I'm just going to put this in a directory, put it in my documents. Just call it Llama file. And now in here, I'll make a directory called weights. We'll go into that downloads folder. And now that it's done, I'm going to drop this into that weights folder. Okay, so now I've got everything I need to run the server with the model that we downloaded. I'm going to open up a terminal window. I'm going to change into that directory. Just drag it over here. So we're going to run that llama file server. That's at the M flag for model. I'm directed to that weights. Mistral 7B. Going to load up. See, it's pretty fast. And there you go. Got our language model up and running on our local server. No open AI, no network connection needed. And let's us get something to test it out. What animal is depicted on the Mozilla Firefox logo? Let's see if it knows this. It's a red panda. That's correct. Nice job, Mistral. Now, if we want something in between LM Studio, which is closed source, and Mozilla Llama file, which is open source, but bare bones, there is Olama. Olama is not available for PC yet. It is available for Mac and Linux. You download this executable. And once you've done that, you can see Olama is running up here. And now we have access to some terminal commands for Olama. So if we just type Olama it gives us the list of options here of things we can run. So let's see if it can run Mistral. It's going to pull that down. And you can see once that's done, it launches us straight into a prompting window. So we don't have to do separate steps to download, install, and then run the model. We just say run, give it the name of the model we want to run. If it doesn't have it, it knows to download it, and then it sends us into a chat window. So it is Olama open source. It doesn't seem to be aware of itself. Let's ask about Mistral. So interesting, Olama doesn't seem to be performing as well within Olama. Let's serve it up a softball here. Okay, it knows 2 plus 2. See if it can generate us some code. All right. Seems like it's capable of doing that. So Olama's got some really good documentation of all the different things you could do. Adding models, moving models, handling multimodal stuff if you want to generate images and things like that. They have a REST API. Uh, but one thing I really like is that they have these community integrations with different applications, different libraries. So I use Langchain a lot. Uh, it integrates with Langchain and they have examples on how to do that. And then there's these plugins. So for example, Obsidian Llama, if you use the note-taking app Obsidian, you can have Olama ask questions about your Obsidian notes. They have a Discord AI bot where you can chat with a Discord bot using Olama. So several different options here for running a local LLM. No need to worry about what some big corporate conglomerate is doing with your data. Give it a shot. Let me know what your favorite is. Let me know if you found something that works better for you and how you're using these local large language models. Thanks for tuning in.